Hey friends, welcome back to Vince and Gigi Super Channel G and look what we're going to be taking a look at here today. These are action figures from the upcoming movie Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse and it includes Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse action figures. You'll see there's some down there and kind of mixed in between. But these are the basic figures. I was so excited because I was going to open this brand new Marvel Legends Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Spider-Man Noir and Spider-Ham. But before I did that, because this was brand new that I found at Target, I wanted to take a look at all my basic figs that I've had uh, collected from these two movies. And I'm so excited for this movie to come out. It comes out June 2nd, 2023. Not that it hasn't been delayed enough already. But what do you say we dive right on in and see who exactly is in here? And all of this will look like, ta-da, this, once we're all done. Doesn't this look absolutely amazing? You're not gonna wanna miss this. Look at all these great action figures. Look how well they actually posed when we get them going with our dynamic action hero stance. Guys, before we get started, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next so you're notified every time we have a new video come up. Talk to us in the comments, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of these action figures, which ones are your favorites, and yeah. Give us a big thumbs up and talk to us in the comments. So what do you say we go ahead and get started? Right now. What is up, Vincent Gigi? Vincent Gigi, Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Gigi. Vincent Gigi from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent Gigi on Super Channel G. So tight. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Super Channel G. God, is this great! All right, friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. And I can't tell you just how excited I am to dive on into this box of action figures of the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse action figures. These are the basic figures that we've collected from the two movies so far. And I can't tell you how excited I am to see who I put in this box over this time. Again, the movie was delayed to June 2nd, 2023. So depending on when you're watching this, it might already be out, but I'm excited. Let's take a look. And I had just found the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Marvel Legends action figures of Spider-Man Noir and Spider-Ham. And I wanna take a look at these all over again from the Marvel Legends line. And we'll be doing that on our next video. So talk to us in the comments about that. If that's what you wanna see next, but let's dive on in to these right here. And I can't wait. So let me go ahead and get a setup, move this here, and let's get started. And let's dive on in. So again, this is because we're so excited about the brand new Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse action figures. We just opened up these two just the other day. We had Miles Morales, and these are the two basic figs I'm sorry, deluxe basic figs that we had of Cyborg Spider-Woman. Take a look at that. And Miles Morales. You can check out that video back on our YouTube channel. I'll try and include a link in the description below. But these are super cool. We'll take a look at those also. And um, what's kind of interesting is that some of these action figures appear to be almost identical to the original release from Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, and you'll see maybe the accessories different or so on. So, um, and then maybe if, if I point out the wrong one, you can help correct me there. But let's go ahead and, of course, right on, on the top right here, we have Spider-Man, and I believe this is Peter B. Parker. And let's see, because of his um, web slinging action that he's got right here, I'm pretty confident this is the one from Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Uh, uh, forgive me. Uh, yes. And so, um, that is... I, I want to pull the other one out so you can see and we'll compare them to. But I think the only difference is the projectile that was right here. 
So of course, this was played by Jake Johnson, Peter B. Parker. He did such a great job. It would have been cool if he had the uh, the the sweatpants, right? And maybe even that stomach, and that would look so cool. Or maybe something else. But because of that, I'm like, how different is it from you know regular Peter Parker, the one that um, uh, died right at the beginning of the first movie, right? Okay, so let's see what sort of uh, head sculpt and articulation we have here. The head moves this far back and this far forward, tilts a little bit, and definitely turns all the way around. The arms move this far up with the shoulders, which is a little further than I actually thought they would. Look at that. The elbows do bend in slightly, not quite a 90 degree angle, but it does allow you to turn them. And as far as the articulation for the arms, there's nothing at the wrist, so you kind of uh, can really only do that. You can turn it about that much. This would be 90 degrees, so we have more of like a 45, I guess. And you can still get some pretty decent action poses. And check that out. This just clips right on. You can put it right here so that it looks like it's shooting out of his web shooter, obviously. There we go. And you can have him face when he's shooting, move his arm up like that, and it looks pretty good. Check that out. So, look at this spider symbol right here on the back, looks pretty good. A little bit of paint bleed there, and then some scratches, which I think came with the action figure, to be honest. Now, as far as the legs, when they go this far forward, there are no additional joints. They do move independently, but there's not much you can do there, so. Um, because of the way it is right here behind the legs, you can only move them back so far. I wish I could move them a little further back at least since we don't have any knee joints. But nonetheless, still a really cool looking action figure to go with this new movie. That looks really cool. And let's see who else we got in here. Let's put this Spider-Man to the side and then in a moment we'll compare him to the original one. Okay, so let's take a look at this brand new Miles. And the reason why I know it's brand new, like for example compared to this, is this one still has the graffiti spider symbol and this one has a newer one. And they are slightly different. They're not exactly the same as you can see here. And we'll compare them in a moment fully, but check out this head sculpt. The head goes significantly further back than our Peter Parker, Spider-Man, look at that, it does tilt, pivots, turns all the way around, and we have pretty much the same style of articulation, where the arms go up, this one maybe not as high, but we do have where the elbows bend, in, this one is a lot closer to 90 degree angle, which is awesome, and it does turn there, it looks like we got red right here, on the underneath part of the arm, that's kind of cool. Look at that. We got a spider symbol on the back. Looks great. And we have the same sort of movement for the legs. They, these appear to move a little further back. And they definitely move a lot further forward because it looks like we've got a 90 degree angle to sit here where our Peter Parker didn't do that. And then we have this that clips on right here, which is our <laughs> little shock little thing here. So we can electrocute him. You know what I just realized? It would have been cool to have like a clear Miles to, to represent like invisible. So there's an idea right there. And here's what the hand looks like without it. So it's cool. Maybe I wish it wasn't turned down like that. Like if it was more like... I do want the wrist turned down, forgive me, but I don't want it like kind of pivoted sideways. But either way... Still looks cool. I like the way that looks. Like this right here. And again, they're both on the right hand, so we have it shooting out of this arm. Uh, one of the downsides to these legs is that we can't give him like an action pose. He's like standing straight up, with, like a very polite pencil stance. But otherwise, super cool figure. We can open the legs like that. So just to give you an idea. And maybe even Put them on an action figure stand. You know what? Let me see if I have one, because that would help. Give me a second. 
And while we do have several styles of these, this is the official Hasbro one. We do have one here, and then we have one here. This is one made by NECA, and this is one made by DC Collectibles. And so, um, it might be a bit much for this action figure, but just to show you what that might look like. can have the chillin like this. Ooh, that one didn't hold him as well because he's a little too slick. So we can have him here. There we go. Give you an idea of what we're looking at there. So very cool. Let's move on to our next action figure. So I'm up right there. Okay. So next, let's take a look at him what's the side. Let's take a look at Spider Gwen, Spider Woman, Ghost Spider. She's got a million names. And here we are. She has her web shooting out like this. Again, clips on right here. And Oh, you hear that? The plastic was a little... Had to get it going. I'm like, I'm pretty sure this is the new one. Just want to make sure. Yes, it is. This is the latest one. And, um... Looks pretty cool. Look at right here, the... The detail on her forearms. With this webbing. I like the colors. Did a great job with that. I like how the... The hoodie, it's not exactly fully attached, but it does move pretty well with the head. The head doesn't move super far forward and back but it does move does tilt a little bit and it gives pl plenty of movement here and so uh, this was how far the arms can go up again similar to miles uh, the arms do bend in to almost exactly 90 degree angle and so that's great get the sculpt look at that look at the detail right here of the, the mold and we have very similar again the right arm this just clips right onto here and this one's a wavier one look at that that looks cool look at that it's very nice okay so we have the same thing with the legs going here this one does come up to a 90 degree angle the legs go to about the same level back of our Peter Parker look at her sneakers they're almost like Converse style shoes and um, yeah so all in all pretty solid figure get to see the sculpt design there and I like there's detail and color inside the hoodie so that looks great so this one looks cool we'll set her aside right over here turn her head a little bit and you know what maybe we can set her up with this see if this works Turn it. Let me see if I can turn this, because that would absolutely be helpful. And that looks pretty cool right there. Look at that. What are your thoughts? So, pretty cool actually. Look at that. All right. I didn't have Prowler over here in the way. Okay, so let's keep going. Who else do we have here? We have our Spider Man 2099. And look how awesome he looks. I love the fact that he's like bigger than the other figures, so it's not just a bunch that are all the same. I took off his um, right here, his accessory that we can attach to the wrist. And let's take a look. His head sculpt um, and articulation goes this far back and forward. Pivots, turns all the way around. As far as the arms, they do come this far up. This starts to hit, but this is a softer plastic, so it doesn't really impact that very much, But except for how you want it to look. 
check that out so really cool texture right here on the mold same movement with the legs with pretty decent mobility there but definitely extremely strict right here where we can't move the legs any further back look at that paint looks good the touch of red looks good I like how it looks very tech right there these are pretty soft plastic and we can bend the arms this far in again these do turn in and out no wrist movement but such a great sculpt look at that paint looks good on this I'm not really finding uh, too much paint bleed you do see that it kind of drifted this way but nothing terrible and yeah look at that so right here this one does not have the wrist like this just has the hand kind of open which is a big difference this one also completely different from the other ones that it's shooting out right here we can fit this right here on the wrist and um, let's see how it fit on either side look at that it doesn't necessarily come across as straight on the arm look at that because the wrist is still kind of turned down like that but nonetheless you can do this look at that And yeah, again, it would be cool if we could, well, first of all, if we had full joints on this figure, but since we don't, that still looks cool right there. And you might have to throw the arm out like that to kind of balance him, because if you have it down, it's going to kind of, uh, you throw it out like that, it's like a really cool action pose, and still have it going right there. And that looks awesome. So, let's see if I can just put him right here, and that should be good. Now you tell me. Look at that. Look at this right here. Take a quick picture. I don't want him to block Gwen's face. There we go. Okay, let's keep moving on. All right. So next, let's take a look at, since we're still looking at Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse, let's look at this Cyborg spider Woman right here. As I just mentioned, we just did a full review on this action figure, and let's take a look. So what I didn't notice originally was, look at that green tech little cyber eye right there. Look at that. These spikes are softer plastic, and this will move up. It is attached right there. But it looks like we pull it too much, look, it'll start tearing. So be careful with that. Um, this arm does move all the way around like this, like a clock. Like when you turn it, it does kind of spin on its own already. There's no other um, articulation other than this arm, which does the same type of thing, but it's restricted movement from here. But it does move a little bit. The legs do not move, except for right here, this, which pushing it in, turns this huge arm cannon look at that that's kind of cool take a look at these chains and the spider symbol right here that looks cool and the chain going makes it look super um, uh, tough right there and look at this huge metal cannon arm so that looks crazy look at these boots look at this like steel toe with this Kind of spike that comes up right there almost like a shark fin and then look at these straps his boots look super cool like the design of this character looks awesome and then i'm assuming that this should probably be different colors so maybe like black or maybe brown leather straps right there this would probably be metallic and we we'll probably color those once we know exactly what colors it's supposed to be we can probably customize this there's a little bit of paint bleed right there but the sculpt looks cool and this one looks like it would be amazing to customize once we know exactly what she'll look like. But again, let me zoom out right here. Look at this. So, you can turn the head slightly. 
Not a whole lot, but we can still do that. And so, looks cool, all in all, and uh, does stand. So let's see. Let's put this arm down a little bit. There we go. Look at that. All right, really cool. Okay, let's see who we got next. Let me just straighten this out here. And let's do this prowler right here. Look at that. And so, I'm like, this isn't the one that came with the accessories for the boots, is it? Because I could have sworn. Hopefully, you're going to have to help me out here. It's been a few years since the movie came out. So, how many? Four? And there is a, um, this basic figure. And there is also the Marvel Legends figure, which was really awesome. And I'm like, now I'm starting to doubt myself. Didn't this one come with the little, like, orange little blast that were supposed to be coming from the boots? Especially that's why it has that there. I'm gonna have to find those. I'm gonna have to update this video afterwards. But, anywho, looking at this, you can remove the cape. This is what the head sculpt looks like without the cape. It is cool how it does look like the movie and it's kind of draping down right there. There we go, we can move the head this far back forward, tilt a little bit, turn all the way around if we want to. The arms spin all the way around and the shoulders come up this far up. The elbows come almost to 90 degree angle in and do turn right there at the elbow with that single joint. I do like the way it has these right here with his robotic like forearms that he had for these gauntlets. Those looked awesome in the movie, didn't they? So a little more paint, these could look even more killer, but still looks awesome. Uh, I was like, man, that would be cool if we could turn this at the waist. So his legs do not come to a full 90, 90 degree angle like those other ones were. Look significantly less, which is unfortunate because it looks like we could probably bring these legs further in, no problem, but we can't. Now as far as back, look at that. We don't necessarily need or want that, but this one doesn't have it restricted in the back. So anyway, interesting that it has that cool sculpt. Could use a little bit of customization with that paint, but all in all it looks great. Look at these boots. These boots look outstanding, so I'm gonna need to find those orange things. And look at this cape. This cape looks great. I love how it's got these three points here. It looks like it's draped here. It definitely looks great. This is super soft plastic and the color is beautiful. And we can pop this on right here. Pop this right in there. Take a look at that. Right in there. And yeah, look at that. So again, this would look cool. And now I need to find these little things are blasting it off. So, uh, hmm. I already used all my action figure stands that I had brought over here. I'm like, I have several more, but I don't know if I'll find them. Give me a second, let me see if I can find them. All right, well I have several other ones, and I only found one right now. So we'll be able to use this, and maybe at least stand them up right here, so we can have this cool pose. Look at that. Let's bring Spider-Man up like this. And we'll put Prowler like that we can give them an even cooler pose. Look at that. Let me get closer here. So that looks awesome. Notice his feet aren't touching, so we can have him like kind of like an action pose there. The Spider-Man is the only one that we have just standing there. We have Miles kind of jumping like that. Same thing with Gwen. Spider-Man 2099, all in the air, look at that. And then Cyber Spider-Woman. Okay, cool. Let's see what else we got here. All right, awesome. So, let's take a look at this deluxe Spider-Man uh, Miles right here. So this one has two attachments, look at this. And I guess attachments, one attachment and one projectile, I should say. So, this arm moves like a clock, and that's all the articulation it has. There is no other articulation, and there's, except for the head, 
So here's the head sculpt. It only moves this far back and forward. But it does spin all the way around and tilts slightly. So this web shooting action, this just pops right here. And this goes right in here. Look at that. And it actually shoots pretty hard. Check this out. So if we squeeze the leg like this. So I meaning it seemed like much, but it goes a little bit further than you would think it would. See? That was pretty strong. Bam! And so I thought he actually wouldn't stand because it's like tremendously heavier coming this way, but he stands just enough. Watch this. Boom! So, kind of cool. He will fall over if I shake the table too much. But I do like the sculpt. Look at that. Got a lot of screws to keep him like in that stance and, and so it doesn't break and so it lasts for um, a good while. So it's a little bit rugged. That's cool. And it is cool again that this shoots that uh, projectile with that force because that's cool. It's not super far, but it is stronger than some of the weak projectiles that we've seen from some action figures in the past. So I'm going to set them up right there. Move Cyber Spider Woman back right there. And that looks pretty awesome. Okay. So back to over here. What else we got? Okay. So here is one reason why I don't like having my action figures just in a box, which is why you always ask me, why do I always um, talk about keeping the box? Well, here it is. If you see the Spider Man right here, look at this. He was chilling right there. What's the first thing you notice if I get closer? If you don't notice it right away, that's okay. But what it is, is look at this leg. It's being pushed up against the side. And it's not even like forced very heavily. It's just kind of settled over there. And so over time, you're going to see, look what happened to Peter B. Parker's leg. Blah, look at that. Bowed in. While it should be like this, it is like this. So... That can be corrected, but it is annoying, look at that, and does take a little bit of TLC, because you can't just bend it and, oh, it's good, like, sometimes you actually have to splint it until it, like, starts settling back to where it should be. So, anyway, just a lesson in why I don't just cram them in boxes typically, I do sometimes uh, store some and I try to protect them a little bit better than that maybe put them in bags but these have been in here for a couple few years already so anyway I try to avoid that good thing I haven't seen that issue with any of the other ones but definitely noticed it here so this uh, Peter Parker spider-man let's see if we have the year it came out right here it has 2018 right there Hasbro and if we compare this one to the one we just looked at, look at this. You're gonna notice there may not be any real differences. Let's see what the bottom says on this one. This one says 2018 also. If you notice, this is the same action figure. Now they updated this action figure with, oh wow, look, that paint kind of bled out right here. So this original one, wasn't as clean and tight as this one. But nonetheless, there's a side-by-side -side comparison. And it's this projectile, well, forgive me, not a projectile, but this accessory that shows him shooting this web. This one, I guess it's faded a little bit and can't tell because it's kind of, there we go. I'm gonna put this right here, side-by-side. -side, and then I'm gonna block this from the lights a little close right here, so watch this. There you go. And so this one is definitely brighter white. And it's subtle. But if you stare at them for enough time, you'll see that this one's a little more beige. So, anyway, this is, if it wasn't for the accessory right here, this would be the exact same action figure because it is the exact same mold also. Look at that. His leg being turned in here put this right over here and you know what I guess if we put it on this side and we covered up the fact that he has a punching fist here 
maybe we wouldn't notice necessarily right away. So, I don't know if he's gonna stand right with the fact that his leg keeps doing that, so. Let's try it. There we go. He's standing, he was standing well enough, look at that. So let's turn him this way. Good enough, hopefully it doesn't just fall over later, but. Anyway, looks awesome. Let's keep going. Now this Miles, I know, looks different than the one we were just looking at a little while ago. Look at that. And man, I don't even want to take him out of that stance. But, it looks like this might be the same head sculpt, but it is not the same figure overall here. Looks like we might have the same arms, but we don't have the same body. Might have the same legs, but a totally different paint job here. So, we take a look at this right here. This is actually raised and not just painted on. The other one has it painted on his chest. Look at that. Okay, and then look at his feet. That one is just black and has a stripe on the side. You see that right there? This one has them kind of faded, which looks cool. Too bad he didn't have the sneakers. That would look really awesome. But, and then he's got red up here versus the other one does not, but has a stripe on the inside of the suit. Look at that. Kind of more of a spray paint splat going on right there. The suit he made. Now, his shoulders go up this far. His arms come into almost 90 degree angle. Look at that. And I'm like, didn't he have something? To show that it was shooting off his arm? I could have sworn. I'm like, but it's not in here. The legs come up to a 90 degree angle. And they don't go any further back than that. Pretty good sculpt, look at that. And all in all, pretty good action figure. That, but I could have sworn he had his own, you know, a clip right here, and that'd be unfortunate if he didn't, but it's pretty smooth, pretty slick. And look at this. Uh, this is raised also and painted on. And a pretty good paint job. I will say that, look, it's not really bleeding. So overall, great sculpt. Same thing here, this is raised. So great job on that. Okay. So we'll set up Miles. Right over here. And let's put his arm maybe down a little bit. There we go. Ah! I was trying to get him to stand like that, but it didn't work. It didn't work. Maybe if we have some little like stands where we can put the. I just noticed that his feet also look they're not even. Look at this. Now that may not seem like much, but that's enough to throw him off. So right here, look, pointing down and move forward. It's still kind of pointing down. Look at that. See. Again, doesn't look like much, but it's enough to throw him off. So, maybe we can do that. We'll see. There we go. It's the best I can do right now, just having him stand with his, le his stance so, so narrow. It's like he's creeping around the corner like... Alright. Who else we got here? Looks like we have one, two, three, three more figs here. So interesting. We have, and these two came together. So we have the SPDR mech with this, and the remind me is Penny Parker, I believe so. And look at that. This one has, I believe, no. Oh, I was gonna say no articulation, but I guess the arms do. They have one joint that kind of spins them like clock arms. Zoom in closer as you can see. She's wearing a uniform. She kind of just chills with a, this really cool spider mech. Oh, the head does move! I was like, I thought I saw a joint there. The head moves this far back and forward and turns. I didn't remember that. Ooh, kind of creepy that it did that, but because of where it is the neck so that looks cool 
I don't remember. She has to be able to stand on her own. And maybe she does, but look, it's not straight right there on the feet. And we can't really move those. So, let's see. Maybe she can stand on our spider mech because she is definitely falling over. Set her right there. Let's take a look at this. And man, this looks amazing. I love the way this looks. Oh, and there went Miles. So, these arms turn around like this. They do not go out here. Look at this. And there is no elbow joint either. However, it does turn on the really high part of the forearm. Look at that. To turn that. So, it's at least something. Look at the detail on these arms. A projectile will come out here. And we have that for this. This for that. Look at that. This is pretty close here, but let's see. Wow, that was came up with some force. Look at this spider symbol. Look at this sculpt. This looks great. Look at this. This just looks outstanding. As far as the legs, they come this far forward. Look at that. That looks awesome. They come. I guess they can be moved all the way forward and back until they hit the body. Look at that. There is no knee joint. It appears like it would turn here, but it doesn't. I'm like just making sure and just rocking it a little bit. Just to make sure. I'm like, nope, guess not. And there's another joint here, even though it would be perfect. Man, if we could get this to articulate like that, that would be absolutely amazing. I love the way the color design is blue um, and red, the way it's kind of not exactly completely symmetrical there. These like gears and high tech uh, machinery. The feet look outstanding. And we can't turn the head or do anything like that, but I wish we could move the arms out. This would be a sick figure to customize. But nonetheless, let's see if we can put this mech right here. Let's turn this here. I just wish it had more articulation because it's just so sick. Maybe we can put Penny chilling right here. Look at this. So I'm like, where else are we going to have her? On his arm. We can't really move his hand up, so... Oof. Can she sit there without falling over and without him falling over? I guess so. It's a little awkward, but. <laughs> Ow! Oof. All right, we'll work on that at the end. So we're running out of space here. Let's move this over here to the side. Okay, so we have two figures left. Here we have, again, Ghost Spider, Spider Gwen, Spider Woman right here. And this is a very similar action figure. We have different shoes, because we have, oh, I'm like, we got paint here? What happened here? How do we even get paint? It looks like it's, looks like it's paint from, from my house, not from the action figure. Anyway, I guess we can get that off of an X-Acto knife later. I'm like, interesting. That's random. So, definitely don't want to damage it by scratching it further. But anyway, here's on this like these ballerina type shoes. They are a little bit darker than the other one. Like, look at those shoes. That's cooler. It's almost the same figure, but it has paint different. This one has paint for the pink under the arms. The other one does not. And this one does not have forearms that are that kind of deep like purplish pink with that turquoise or whatever. This one does have blue right here on this uh, attachment accessory. And wow, I didn't notice that this was evidently painted also. So I wonder if this paint just came off. You know what, that's exactly what happened, look. This was here, and this right here where the paint came off was here. 
So the paint is from its own action figure accessory. And I would have never thought that, and that kind of definitely caught me by surprise. Oh, sorry, I got out of focus there. That's where it came from, so I guess this whole thing is actually this color blue. And this is just... They went over it once with paint, and then it got stuck on the leg. So, just wanted to paint that again. But it would explain why it's kind of fading here. So, almost the same figure. We have the same sculpt. It's not the same because of the paint and because of what they did for the shoes. But otherwise, it's pretty close, but not the exact same. So, here's the sculpt we have here. The pink is lighter. The head does move well. That's what the back looks like. So, slightly different figure. Slightly. So, there we are. Let's put her down here next to this Miles. And last, we have Scorpion. Oh no, I do have this, so hopefully I can have someone stand with this other uh, clear neck of stand. It's just, you literally just put this here. And you know, it's not the exact size for this, but maybe enough to keep someone standing up. Look at that. So, let's take a look at that. Let's assemble this scorpion. Look at this. Usually when you click this, it would like close more instead of open more, but anyway. The arms turn around like this. There's no other joint on them except for on this one where you can turn this and open the claw versus close it, which again, that's a little different, but um, the head sculpt, look at this, does tilt slightly, goes around and only goes this far back and forth, which is not a lot. It is cool that the waist turns, finally, and look, they have them super buff. He's almost got a little bit of Drax vibes. So this scorpion tail, look at this, actually is gonna go here. Okay, and these, man, it's been a while since I've done this. Let's make sure we get the right ones. So this one, based on how this looks like it is, placed, goes here because if it went here, it would go like this. So in here, and you'll see the way it's shaped goes here and then it will click there. This one will go here. We want it facing forward, so that. And this one will go here. And if I take a step back, that actually looks pretty awesome. Too bad this doesn't look necessarily great on the inside because it's all scooped out because you get to see they, they can use less plastic, but otherwise it still looks cool overall. We can turn it, we can move it back. It looks great. These don't move whatsoever, but they look great overall. So, that's our last action figure. Let's put this uh, scorpion right on over here. And take a look at our action figures. So, let's bring this down. I just admire what we have here. Look at this. Man, that looks awesome. Okay, so let's move our scorpion right here. Let's move our miles further in. Look at that. How's that? I wonder if that helps a little bit, right? We can put our Gwen maybe against the wall over here. Penny, let's just have her leaning against our spider mech. Put this arm down a little bit and try not to knock anybody over. Let's turn her a little bit, I guess. And we have this Miles. <clears throat> Straight cold chilling. No. Let's see if we can put him here. There we go.
That looks cool. So there we go. How's that? I think it looks pretty awesome. So, let's go ahead and look at everyone here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen action figures here. And I'm sure there's more to come out. And these are all the basic figs and the deluxe basic figures. And come to think of it, there was a really huge spider ham and he was like huge, like this big. And I think that's maybe the only one we're missing from specifically these two sets so far. So we'll take a look, see if we can find them. We'd have to be online because they don't sell them at the store anymore. But guys, I want to thank you for hanging out with us here today. If you've not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell next to it so you can be notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments. Let us know what you think of these Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse action figures. Which ones are your favorite? Which ones do you have? And yeah, we'd love to hear from you. Give us a big thumbs up and check out more great videos like this on our YouTube channel. So guys, thank you for hanging out with us here on Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Peace. And don't forget to let us know if you're excited and want us to do the Marvel Legends complete set next. I'm going to be doing this one uh, uh, two, there's two in this one of the Spider-Man Noir and Spider-Ham, uh, Spider-Man Noir, and can't wait to get that open, and then of course take a look at all the uh, Marvel Legends for that. So, until next time, guys. Again, thanks for watching Vincent GD Super Channel G. Peace.